couple of research scientists engaged in a very important project. No, nothing to do with any super secret defense work, nor is it an industrial project aimed at developing a new and useful raw material. Here they've poured sulfuric acid over sugar. The results are interesting, but won't have any immediate bearing on the atomic energy program. The gentlemen are chemists employed by the Porter Chemical Company of Hagerstown, Maryland, to develop and try out experiments that children can safely perform on toy chemistry sets. When they smell as bad as this one, they're rejected. Nothing doing on sulfuric acid mixed with sugar. The lab works also on experiments for young entomologists who will use the company's junior microscopes. Under observation here, a flea. Bottles are filled with the various elements, compounds, and mixtures the budding chemist will require in his work. Fully as much care must go into the preparation of these chemicals as goes into those used in medicines. Lenses for the toy microscopes also get attention far beyond what one might expect to be given a toy. Precision ground and tested right here in the plant, they're installed in their holders and the microscope is assembled. Educational toys are often thought to be a relatively new thing, but scientific toys have been around quite a while, 30 or 40 years, long enough to have helped develop some of the outstanding chemists, physicists, and other scientists of our day. Who knows, perhaps among these neophytes is the Einstein or Edison of the next generation. If such a genius is here, his play will help bring out his special talent. If not, there's plenty of fun to be had anyhow. Here's a new use for chemicals. When compounds are used as paints and salt is sprinkled on, each chemical turns a different color. This is the easy way to learn one's science lessons. In schools all across the country, there's been a resurgence of interest in scientific courses, reflecting in part the availability of well-paying jobs in industry for people with that kind of background and stimulated also in many cases by the scientific toys these young men and women played with when they were younger. Wherever their attachment to science sprang from, there can be no question of how urgently it is needed by the nation now and perhaps even more so in the future. <laughs>